Hey there guys, welcome back to United Brothers. Uh, so today, you have another rotary toy. Of course. <laughs> rotary guy. Let's see what you got, man. It's called the X-Bolt 250 by Ares. Which, uh, we're actually kind of looking at all the Ares stuff. Cause yeah, no, it's not a bad company. No, they've actually, um, I have to say for the last couple of years, they've been stepping up the game quite a bit. Yeah. You know, they, they actually, uh, one thing I really appreciate about them is their manuals they have. They have water repair videos, that they kind do. of thing. They, they do really good when it comes to showing you know their customers how to keep their machines going, basically. Yeah, yeah which is really good. Which, you know, I don't see a lot of the other companies doing. They don't put up repair videos or anything. You just kind of have to kind of figure it out on your yeah, own or watch, or, or or watch yeah. someone else's video they've made yeah. on it, you know. But it's really cool that the company actually takes the time to show you how to repair certain products. Yeah. Um, what's really cool with this, I already see that I love about it, all carbon fiber. All carbon fiber. Um, it's actually uh, three millimeter carbon fiber. So, I mean, it's invincible, basically. Yeah, it's pretty good. And the arms fold in, so if you do hit something, they'll just fold back, just like that. That is awesome. So you're not breaking an arm constantly. On top of it, it makes it just easier for transportation, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Um, so right here, is this a three cell? Yeah, that is a three cell, 1400 milliamp, uh, 65C battery. Oh, awesome. Sweet. So it's really pumping out those amps. Oh, definitely. No. Uh, does this thing actually, so what, so what would you say the build level is for, for the, the skill level required to build it? Uh, about an intermediate. Definitely. Because you have to solder everything to a PCB. Okay. And then you also have to program your flies, right? Uh, basically, you know, you buy, so you buy this, the actual body as a kit, right? And then you put all yeah. the, the actual electronics in yourself. Well, it actually all comes with everything you see here. Oh, that's sweet. So except, basically, you yeah. just have to put it together. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. It comes with everything except the battery and the camera, of course, okay. and the receiver as well. Definitely not. That's not a bad deal at all right It's actually um, 250 for this guy. Not bad at not, all. Not too not bad, bad at for all. what you get. Um, why don't you go and tell them where we got this from? Uh, we got it from Hobby Town USA, and they gave me they gave me a pretty pretty good deal. Oh, definitely. Actually. No, they uh, they know us quite well. Yeah, we really generous to their you know to their customers. They're really yeah. good people. Uh, they offer a lot of technical support. Mm -hmm. They you know you can go and have your stuff repaired by them if you don't want to do it yourself. That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, the hobby town, uh, the hobby town that we got all our stuff from, basically, is the one that's in Spokane, Washington. Uh, just, just great people. I love, I love uh, testing out the products that you know they yeah. provide to us. It's really yeah. fun. Um, anyway, though, so what would you say the speed scale on this model is? About 50 miles an hour. So that's still, that's still but, ripping around for a first, yeah. a first, you know, first quad yeah. like that. And I fly mostly on. Um, so auto leveling, yeah, because I'm not quite comfortable with uh, the acro yet. You know, you know, eventually though, man, we got we're, we're gonna have I to will. test you, man. <laughs> we're gonna have to see what you can do. I might have to do a race with you with the plane sometime. Yep, yep. <laughs> I can't wait. That'd be really fun. We should do a race sometime with some FPV Definitely. quad and plane. Definitely. Especially but, after that giant Cessna I flew yeah. not too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> but the only one complaint I have about this is that the camera is. Uh, set to a certain angle so you cannot move it yeah but there's an upgrade part so you can move it how you want to well that's awesome no i'm, it's I'm not too bad it looks amazing i, I literally it looks like a sports car it's so really yeah it's so, so thin oh yeah definitely well yeah. what do you say we get to fly in yeah let's do it see how fast it goes let's do it man i gotta tune in pretty well definitely a little bit of wind That camera. Definitely. Green by here. My gosh, dude. I'm going against the wind. That is there. insane. I don't lie though, its size makes it pretty easy to follow. Yeah. Uh-uh. I love this thing. Oh, I would too, man. So, you, have you flown Acromote on this yet? I have. I can really only do figure eight. Oh really? So you can definitely fly without the gyros now, though. Yeah, but it's still, eh. I'm really slow with it. My gosh, dude, that's so cool. That's full throttle. <laughs> that is awesome, man. man. I think that's faster than my jet. It has to be. If not, I'd have to be going full throttle to probably even be right there with it. That's insane. It's got plenty of power for the size. And the nice thing is it's just it's so stable still. And this is only a three cell. I can put a four cell on it. <laughs> so it'd probably what, go another 10 miles an hour easily? Probably. There's so much lift out of this thing. I have to say it's quite a sports car for an Aries product. Oh yeah. It's amazing. Not at all. Do some funnels. Not 
perfect, but okay. <laughs> What's that? Take it up and do a few rolls. Yeah? You got it? I'm on it. Alright. Oh jeez. <laughs> I don't have the rates up super high, so they're not. That's awesome, man. It's pretty cool though. That is so cool. I love it, man. I'm jealous now. <laughs> You need to get a quad someday. I do, man. I, I, need, don't have one. I need to get into it. I don't think I'll be quite as good of a pilot as you will. So I'm definitely a plane guy. I just cannot get enough of the quads. No. This is, it's really funny. I love how I was the cause of this obsession. <laughs> one Christmas I got him this little tiny $20 one. Then it turned into this. He built his own racing quads. I love it, man. It's so cool. So, oh, go ahead, sorry. Yeah. This kid here, um, you don't get those blue LEDs. I put those on myself. So they have a little 3D printed uh, little black bar there that's just into the frame so you can stick in any old LEDs on there. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. But yeah, for the price you get plenty of power. Oh yeah. And uh, it's just amazing. So would you say it's definitely an intermediate flyer? Um, yeah. Definitely, even, even if you were, uh, even with the gyros, right? Yeah, when you program your board, you can set it up how you want. You can make it as smooth as you want, fast as you want. So it really depends how you set up the board. Um, but how I have it set up here, it would be an intermediate. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Plus, with the uh, gyros off, it's expert. <laughs> I'm full forward right there. That's <laughs> awesome. It is so quick. Well, my battery flight time is about six minutes, so I think I'm going to bring it in here. Yeah. It's so stable, man. It's really cool, yeah. <laughs> Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's, let's throw another battery in it and have a little more fun with it. Let's do it. Do. Come over here. All right, so we're gonna show Robert how to fly this guy. He's into planes, not quads, so let's see how he does. So this one here, you're gonna pull all the way to the, the right, and that'll start up the motors. Mm -hmm. And then to turn them off is the other way, the left. Okay. And, uh, yep. You'll get the motor start. There you go. Awesome. And then you can just go up. A lot of power. Oh yeah, this is awesome. So you kind of know how to fly quads, but yeah, I don't do it nearly as much as you do, though. Yeah. You know, I, I like experimenting a bit, especially if I ever want to do one of these. Yeah. I like it, man. This is so cool. It flies really good. We're in a lot of wind right now. It's full power. Don't get too far away now, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to lose orientation. Oh, definitely not. The one with the big antenna at the back is the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the LEDs, too. Yeah. I'm good. I know where I'm going. You're doing pretty good, man. This is sweet. No, this is actually my first time ever flying a racing quad, so you know you can it's you can see bad. how well this is made. So, would you say for an Aries product, this is actually quite impressive? It is. Especially, I mean, not saying none of their stuff was before, but you know, compared to three or four years ago when I was getting into some of their micros, you know, like you were too, mm -hmm. they weren't quite up to this quality. They just stepped up to their game. I mean, I won't lie. I'm pretty sure these guys can turn into a very serious player when it comes to the racing quad, you know, area. Yeah, totally. I love it, man. It's sick. It has so much power to it. One day I'll get a four cell for this guy. Heck yeah, I cannot wait to see this thing, man. Like, I totally gotta race you with a plane sometime. Yeah. This will be a fun thing to go against. And I'm thinking we're gonna start actually doing like the, this will be the follow cam. Follow your planes. Definitely. I can try to do that. Oh, I, I can't wait for you to you know, get into that, especially with that big Cessna we just did. You Definitely. Can follow planes like that, no problem. So what do you think of it, man? I love it, man. This thing is so nice. I mean, you know, I'm definitely no, like, I don't do this all the time. I probably haven't flown a quadcopter in probably, I'd say, about three months easily. And it's yeah. just, this thing is so stable. I love it. It's just, it's such a nice flyer. It took about a week to get it tuned in, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the 
it's just trial and error with these race cars, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're setting them up to do what you want. And right now, I'm probably used to flying at 20 miles an hour. It doesn't even phase it. No. Sorry for the wind, guys. That might be okay. hey, You're doing good. I love it, man. This is so much fun. You want to get one now? <laughs> What's that? You want to get one now? Oh, heck yeah. black and orange going on, you know how the black and blue. Exactly. <laughs> Channel colors, buddy. Yep. So you want to bring it in for a landing? Definitely. I gotta do that one more. That. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that, dude. It's insane how quick that is. Mm -hmm. Getting blurry. Oh no, I go. got it. Sorry, I thought that was funny. Left for a second. There you go. Sweet. Done. So, uh, how was your actually first experience with it? I love it, man. That was my first time ever flying a racing quad. I can see why the guys really get into them. Oh yeah. Uh, you cool. know, like I fly a lot of fast airplanes. It's just that's a whole different level of speed. It's just you literally have four motors just pulling this whole thing in mass at such a high speed. It's pretty sweet. I, I definitely recommend this to anyone. You know, especially since I haven't flown one of these before. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely think anyone could get into this with this thing. Yeah, if you want to put something together, program yourself and fly it, this is the one for you. Definitely. Um, I have to give, uh, I think for myself anyway, I think the two of us can agree this is easily a 10, wouldn't you easily, say? Easily, yeah. I mean, it's, I just, it's such a nice setup, uh, very well put together kit. And honestly, I, I mean, honestly, I think anyone could jump into it. Definitely. You know? Um, we also, again, want to thank our local hobby store, Hobby Town USA, Spokane, Washington, for giving us, you know, the opportunity to fly this thing. Um, they really help us out a lot with things. So if you guys are ever in the area, you should check them out. They can help you guys get started with the hobby or just help you with more stuff that you want to get, uh, get into with it. And we'll put the address down here in the description. Definitely. Uh, you know, and especially on top of that, too, you know, it's just great products there, you know, and like I said, Aries right now, I am very impressed so far. They've definitely really been stepping up their game. I mean, I can see them definitely getting even bigger. Mm -hmm, definitely. Anyway, though, guys, uh, my name's Robert. My name's Damon. Uh, this is United Brothers, and thank you guys so much again for watching, and we'll see you guys again next time. See ya. Throttle back. Clear a little bit. Just floats down. Power up, take off. Nice. That was good. Oh. Oh, 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 that was a close one. <laughs> I am glad I've been cool. flying for a while. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I, uh, mm, that wow. was pushing. That was Robert. too close there. <laughs> that was 3D kind of stuff there. That was, that was too scary for my taste. Uh, wow, I finally got one of my amazing saves on camera. I believe it on